Okay, so zip and URL support, which uh, um, I know you I know you covered some of this in the um, in your presentation when we um, when you when you did the release uh, presentation. So I'm going to sort of show a few different um, things here just to uh, to show how it works. But in case anyone didn't see this in in your presentation, what we can do now is we can read and write uh, zip files. Uh, so here, for example. I'm reading the shape file from um, the Vancouver City of Vancouver data website. So I'm saying add to the shape reader, read this data set. It's a .zip file. It's on a URL as well, so we can read from URLs as well now. And so basically, every time I run this, it's going to pull that data directly from the City of Vancouver website. Uh, so I'm I'm always guaranteed to get the live data. Um, directly rather than a, a, an out of date copy that I might be using locally. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully you'll have seen that in, in Dale's and Don's demo before. Um, we can also read zip files that are locally. We can read URLs that aren't zipped as well if you've yes. got a single file format like a DGN or something like that. Um, I'm not sure what would happen if you tried to read a shape file that wasn't zipped. I think you would need to have that zipped up. You're out of luck. I mean, yeah, from a URL, yeah. Like but a PWG as... file will work, of course. Yeah, yes. So, um, but I, I suspect most people who put shape files on a, on a web interface will probably zip them up anyway, so. Um... Mm -hmm. Well, so, and, yeah. I, and as, as I've mentioned, um, some of our customers have told us now that they will never make a directory of, of shape files again because they will use FME, write it into a zip, and then as long as they're using FME on the other side, they can read the shape files in a zip. So it's like the zip is a database of shape files. It is. It's fantastic. I love that. So the other thing we can do is we can write out um, to a zip file now. So what I could do is I can just type in a, the name of the file I want to write to and then just put a .zip extension so I could sort of say okay it's going to be parked GML but then I'm going to sort of change the GML to .zip I can do that. Um, wow. The other thing I can do I mean you, you saw that, that little icon change the other thing I can do to get that is now we've got that little icon there that says zip up the output so I can wow. click on that We've got FME data slash data slash parks, parks.zip. Oh, parks you know what? GML. That must let you change the name of the GML file that's going to be inside of the zip. I suspect it probably would, yes. So, so you can I call it parks.zip uh, with um, um, dale.gml, yeah. I had a feeling you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, let, well, we can run that and see if it does. Uh, this does is us finding out. Oh, this is a little bit of improv because neither of it us is, yes. Uh, oh, we are. It is, yes. Oh, we open the table folder, parks.zip. And there we go, dale.gml. And I get and my own yeah. schema file as well. It's exciting. That's right, yeah. So we can look at your schema to see what makes you tick. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, yeah, so we can do that. But, I mean, you might have seen that already. The other things you probably haven't seen is that what we can do is we can do fan outs as well with that. So, for example, um, I've got this predefined one here doing the same thing. But what I've done is I've set um, the data fan out. Da, 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 da. Fan out date set yes. So we're basically fanning out everything within that zip file. So if I run that now, we should still get a one zip file, but we'll have fanned out into different GML um, inside it. So there we go. So we've got all of the different um, GML files and uh, schemas. So so fan out does work with that. The other thing that works is the generic um, writer. So if I drag that open, uh, we've got a generic writer here. I can say, run this, pick my output format. Uh, so I go to KML or shape or whatever. And it's writing to the zip file, so that's not a problem. The generic writer will still write to that zip file. And again, if I look at that folder, we've got it there. It wrote the shape. If I run it again with a different format, it will write the different format. So. So yes, it is integrated with Fanout, it is integrated with the generic writer. Uh, I'll just mention all of that. Um, the other thing it, it sort of works with is, is Servo. Dale and I were discussing this earlier, whether it really works or not, but the, re the results for sure. And I've been using this quite a lot. When I've run something on Server, I say, OK, well, I've got that there. Let's click on there. 
and it says what do you want to open it with I just say okay let's open it with the universal viewer and uh, I can do that I can just say this is shape you've got to set the format because by default it thinks it's XML but I can say okay no this is really shape and um, it should read back the results of that translation so I'm wondering if it's the ghost of Don Murray that uh, makes it think it's XML that could be yes um, I, I'm not sure what it why it thinks that but uh, anyway and and I, I thought it was possible to actually paste the URL of a of a server workspace in, in Viewer. I did get it to work for a time, but uh, we're not sure how that will work with um, uh, your password and login and that sort of thing. So. Right, and so that's something that we look, we're look we looking to add. So authenticating URLs Authentic. is something we want to do in, uh, in the future. Um, so this is our first outing. We'll make sure that this is all working great for folks, and then we'll figure out how to have you able to authenticate uh, for yeah. protected websites. While I've got uh, uh, kind of interrupted, Mark, a couple of folks asked to just for us to uh, verify that the zip support is for other things besides shape. It's basically for everything. On the output Absolutely. side, anything we write, map info, DWG, anything at all um, will be zipped. And they also asked if we can read a CSV file from a URL if there's one sitting out there. And the answer is absolutely yes. So there's can, a few yes. uh, things there. Um, I'll yes. just mention others asked, what's the future of the old universal viewer? And I would say if it was a stock, you should sell um, because uh, <laughs> where we, we're gonna, yeah. we'll be sending it out to the country to live on a farm somewhere. That's right. And uh, so, so FME 2013 is probably the last tour for the old, uh, the old uh, UV. And so it'll uh, go away. Um, other folks were giving us feedback around zooming uh, in the data inspector, particularly in 3D, and uh, so we'll definitely want to look at that. One person has had some troubles with uh, data inspector seeming to be a bit crashy. Um, definitely would like to have follow-up with our support on that. We know that the 3D area can get a little bit uh, bad if you have certain kinds of files, but 2D should be pretty solid, and if it's causing you trouble, um, we definitely want to know. One thing about the data inspector is that it is a little bit, um, if you have old hardware, because we're using modern uh, OpenGL and these sorts of display technologies, it can be a little cranky um, on old hardware. So that's something we'd want to uh, explore with you as well. And I think uh, someone else, Mark, do you remember the, the old dynamic attributes of the UV? Right, I do, yes. Um, I Somebody don't has suppose... written in and uh, asking, hey, when are we going to support that? So it looks like uh, we have to uh, do anything or do some things there too. Yeah, that, that was another so interesting there's, uh, function. Okay. There's sort of a wrap-up of the number. Wow, lots of, just a huge number of uh, questions around this um, every, everywhere. Oh, and the person did confirm it was 3D. Um, stuff that was causing them troubles in the data inspector so then sadly I'm not super surprised but we do want to work on that as yeah. well yeah. so um, anyway so uh, oh somebody suggested that there might be a way of putting passwords in the path so Alan um, thanks for that uh, we'll definitely have to explore that he's thinking that um, if somewhere in there you I don't know where you'd put it but um, HTTP username colon password in there somewhere. Uh, well, well, what you can do is you can put your um, token after it. But to be honest, I tried that earlier and it didn't work for me today. It's worked for me in the past, so I'm not sure if I was just doing something wrong today. But yes, you can take the URL from a job. So we should be do training. I know, pick a job. It's got a data download. Configure. You look at the developer info. You just say, let's take that. And copy and paste it somewhere, um, and then add the thing on. And then add, yeah. Then then you just say and whatever it is, and token equals la, and that should that should do be enough for security. But for some reason, it wasn't working for me this morning, directly in the viewer at least. So um, I must have done something slightly um, incorrect. But right. Anyway. So no, somebody, Christopher. Um, Ganis has said he's definitely had the URL password and path. Christopher, if you could just type in an example, not with your real password, um, <laughs> but if you could uh, 
do that in the questions. I'll relay that to everybody else. Alan uh, actually has followed up and said he notices that there's a gradient background color. And Mark, can you show us how you can change the color? I think there's a way. I think that button at the top there on the right says open the color dialog of the background color so we can change that to be a different color. Ooh, that's pretty disgusting, but um, <laughs> it, it is possible. And I know some people do prefer the black background um, on there. Really, you can't beat sort of that, um, you know, the sort of yellowy text on a black background, like the old VT220. Yeah. There, there and, you go. That's. And I don't know why it's got a, gra a gradient in there. Um, I, I don't see any way to change that. So. Um, well, something for us to keep uh, working on. But yes, you can definitely do that. Yeah. So well, I, I like that. Yeah.